What's the dumbest thing an ex ever said to try and win you back? Okay I know it was bad to dump you while you were in intensive care, but you were really bumming me out. You're a lot better now, though, so it's all good. Was in and out of critical condition and had several emergency ops over the course of 5 weeks in hospital, he dumped me over the phone while I was lying in my hospital bed. After I was discharged he waited 2 months then tried to come back. He also never came to visit once, he said he didn't want to see me that way as it wasn't very attractive. Told him to get. She said she was going to herself and tell everyone I her in her note if I didn't take her back. I screenshot the conversation and emailed one copy to her mom, one to her dad and a third copy to the local police. I don't negotiate with terrorists. He broke up with me by sort of ghosting me after two years together. He wouldn't show up when we had plans, then text me later and apologize and say sweet things, but go on to ignore my calls for a week. He set his status to single on Facebook so I figured it was done and deleted him. Almost a year later he sent me a text saying he was sorry, that he was willing to talk and answer any questions I had, and that he regretted what he did because I was the second best girlfriend he'd ever had. I you not. I told him I didn't need his answers and didn't want to be his friend. He never bothered me after that. My ex ghosted me too. He was that guy that would make you feel all special, then never communicate unless it was on his terms. He stopped talking to me for about 6 months, after he first 2 weeks I just stopped caring. 6 months later he calls me asking to go on a date. I'm just like, you have the wrong number, sorry. If we break up, it's just a matter of time before you ask for your laptop back and I use it for school so I'm going to have to drop out and my kids are going to be raised in poverty. Do you really want that on your conscience? Edit, I lend him my extra laptop before I realized he bleeds all the women in his life dry of all their resources. I wasn't about to let him keep it after that he put me through. I got my laptop back when we broke up and he destroyed the power cord and messed up the laptop to the point that it wouldn't run. I fixed it but lesson learned. Darn, that's some fine crazy logic right there. At school we asked to be let out of science early one day and our teacher said no, or else he would go to prison. Why? We asked. Because if the rector sees you lot walking past during school hours he will fire me on the spot. I'll go home angry and kick the cat. Then my wife will start yelling at me and I'll hit her too. She'll call the police and I won't go down without a fight. He actually did end up letting us out early though. I once dated this guy who literally carved my name into his hand. He said he did it because he couldn't afford a tattoo. And when I broke up with him for it he said, but, your name is carved into my hand. I'm not sure if that was supposed to me me stay, or if he at that moment, realized how stupid he was. I was once friends with a guy who told me he cut my name into his leg after I told him I had no interest in being in a relationship with him. He also told me about a bunch of other self-harm and made me spend a good few nights, including a whole New Year's Eve, talking him out of suicide. Or so I thought, until a mutual friend stayed the weekend at his house, got a good look at both pristine and unscarred legs and arms, and reported this back to me. Little bitch made the whole thing up because it meant I'd spend hours telling him how much he mattered to people, he knew I was sensitive to it because my family had been extensively affected by it. If I'd had any sense at the time, I'd have called the police round to the family home for a welfare check the first time he did it. My new girlfriend is terrible. I miss you a lot. Like I sometimes regret leaving you. You are so much better than her. Just so you know, I'm going to dump her soon. After we go on vacation, because I'm using her miles to buy my ticket. Like. Oh there are so many things wrong with that. And the vacation was two months away. I told him he had made decisions, so I didn't feel bad for the fact he missed me and never spoke to him again. My ex-husband did this to me. I didn't realize how much I was going to miss you. You understand me better. I call her your name all the time. We were so good together. One month before the divorce was final, after he left me to move in with his pregnant GF. I just started laughing at him. I couldn't stop. He got mad and left again. I had an ex do this to me too. Since Op did not respond, I'll tell my story. We were engaged and living together in a home that I purchased. 
My ex was paying rent to me towards the mortgage. When we broke up, obviously I kicked him out. When we met up to talk about things, he told me, you know, I could sue you for kicking me out. He worked as a lawyer. Well, he moves out and gives me a list of things he wants back when he moves out. I give him everything on the list including the engagement ring. I don't really think much of it until three months later when I get a letter delivered to my house from the court saying that he is suing me for over 10k. His justification he wanted all of the money back that he paid in rent because he thought that he was gaining equity since when we got married, the house would have been put into both of our names. In addition, he could only sell the engagement ring for half of what he had paid it for, so he wanted the difference back. He also wanted money for other items that he had never asked for back that were given to us as housewarming gifts. He claimed that they were wedding gifts and since I had backed out of marrying him, he should get the money back for them. Long story short, I had to hire a lawyer who informed me that everything that he wanted had no basis in court and I had done exactly was required of me by law by giving him back the ring. I think he was really just hoping it would scare me into paying him 10k to get him off my back. My lawyer wrote a letter back to him threatening to counter sue if he did file a suit and basically saying how his claims had no legal ground whatsoever. I haven't heard from him again and it's been almost 3 years. Thank god we didn't actually get married though, I'm sure the legal fees from that divorce would have been way worse. He decided to make a grand gesture for my birthday which was about 6 months after the breakup. He had a cake made in the shape of Australia. He had it shipped to me in a locked steamer trunk. Keys in the card. All of this was based off of a line from Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog, she may cry but her tears will dry when I hand her the keys to a shiny new Australia. This is after I found out that I was the other woman, and I had started to date someone else. It was just painfully awkward. Side note, the cake was dry. That's a lot of work for it to not be moist. I'm just kidding. We are not really broken up. Me. WTF no sorry that's not how this works. Edit, some more info. She broke up with me over the phone, during which I tried to rationalize why, how, what went wrong, etc. I talked with her for a good 30 minutes at least but she was content on saying sorry it's over. I rationalized and accepted and was ready to move on. Heart tender obviously since the relationship was real for me at the time. At this point is when she said just kidding. We are not really broken up. I was just testing you to see if you would fight for the relationship. I about lost my... No. No that's not how any of this works. I hate to break it to you, but your plan backfired. We really are broken up, because you do not test me like this. Not like this. Reminds me of my first serious boyfriend. I told him I was ending it and he just smiled and said no took me a couple days to convince him I actually meant yes. After telling me she didn't love me, leaving the kids with a friend whilst I was at work so she could go get drunk with her male friend, getting drunk whilst throwing my son a birthday party and texting her male friend whilst locking herself in her bedroom and letting the other parents run the party for her, I was at work. The final straw came when she told me I wasn't invited to a party her brother was throwing so I had to stay home to watch the kids, she had left herself logged onto social media so her messages to her male friend were pinging up every min or so until he told her the taxi was outside. I changed the locks that night and packed her clothes and put them outside her mum's house when she came home she was screaming and throwing bricks at the house so I told her if she didn't leave I'd call the police. Drum roll please. But you can't just turn off 10 years of marriage, you must still love me. I would have treated you better, except I thought you'd never leave me. Who says that to someone? Who does that to someone? Edit, after several replies, I began to realize there are a lot of in the world who do this to their romantic interests. After a few more I realized it's even more common than I imagined. Not verbatim, but I've totally got that. When they told me, I never thought you'd do it, it was like a very affirming gut punch. That seems so, shallow. Okay, we've been together for a while now guess I'm in some safe zone. Now I can try less to maintain the status quo. He sees relationships as adversarial, where each person fights for their own needs, and happiness in a relationship is when your needs win. He doesn't seem aware that in a healthy relationship it's a team where, ideally, both partners feel pleased about meeting the needs of the other, 
and trust their partner to have goodwill towards them. He's not a sociopath or something, and I don't harbor ill will towards him, but it is a bummer to think about the fact that his worldview and emotional capacity preclude an ability not only for him to really love someone, but also for him to feel loved. I mean, you can't feel that someone loves you if you fundamentally believe that they want to win against you. Thank you.